Hi Yarnabees, it's Sandy. How you doing? Well, today is another tutorial and this is going to be for the garden uh, vest. And I, I did this pattern on a whim. I've never done one like this before, so I thought, what the heck? Let's try it, see how it goes. And actually it's turning out pretty good. <laughs> So I am going to show you what I'm doing and you can join along. Okay, what you're going to need. Okay, this, this pattern is going to go by size. Okay, so you just do your measurements. Um, but I'll tell you what you're going to need. You can do it in any yarn you want, but this is what I'm using for this tutorial. I'm using the Craft Smart Value Multi and this color is Peach Tree. Isn't that pretty? I haven't seen this color before. You get it at Michael's. And then I used the Craft Smart Value in solid color. And this is Sage. And I thought that these two went, to, went together pretty well. So, yeah. And then I'm using a five millimeter hook. Okay, like I said, you can use any yarn you want. You can use a thinner weight yarn or a thicker weight yarn or depends on, you know, what you want for the summer. This one's a little bit thicker. It's for more of a cool evening or a cloudy day. So, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this pattern is going to be in the double V stitch. Uh, but I, for the foundation chain, you can do it one of two ways. You can either measure from hip to hip and figure out like how, how much you need, how, how wide you're going to, it's going to be. And then you're going to chain an even number that's going to be that size. Okay any even number. Okay, but if you're going to be doing the foundationless double crochet, I'm not going to put a lot of time into showing you how to do this. I will put a link up above and down below of a video that I did that explains um, the foundationless double crochet. Okay, so you're going to chain three. Bring you in a little bit. Okay, yarn over, go into that first chain, pull up one, pull up two, go through two, go through two. Okay, yarn over, go into that chain on the bottom, pull up one, pull up two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, go in the bottom, pull up one, pull up two, go through two, go through two. Okay? Okay, so now you're going to do the whole length of the uh, amount, the, the measurement that you need for your bottom row. Okay, and uh, and then I'll meet you back here. Oh, uh, yeah, if you're doing this. If you're, if you're doing just the chain, do your length of chain, and then go back the other way and do double crochets all the way across, okay? And, uh, and then you'll be exactly where we are. It's just you've got two steps to do instead of the one, okay? And I will be back when you're finished. Okay, so I'm done my chain. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain up two. Turn your work. Then you're going to go into that very first one. You're going to do a double crochet into the same space that your, your chain is in. Okay, 
Now you're going to count two, and in the third one, you're going to do one double crochet. You're going to do another double crochet in the same space. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to do two more double crochets in that same space. That's one. Oops. Try that again. Okay. So there is your double double V. Okay? And then you've got that space in between. Okay, and that you're gonna repeat that all the way across. Go one, two, three, into that third one. You're going to do two double crochets in the same space. Chain one, two double crochets in the same space. Okay, there's your second double V. Okay, then keep doing that all the way across. One, two, three, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay? Okay, so do that all the way across and then I'll meet you at the end and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. I have one more set of three left. So what you're going to do is you're going to count over to your last one and you're going to put two double crochets in that last stitch to finish off the row. Okay? All right. Now you're going to chain up two, turn your work, You're going to do one double crochet in that stitch with your chain. Then you're going to go hop on over to your V stitch and you're going to put a V stitch, a double V stitch, in that V stitch. Okay, so chain, chain one. You put two double crochets. Okay. So now you've got a double V stitch and a double V stitch. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to hop on over to your next V stitch and you're going to put another double V stitch inside of there. Okay. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay. Okay, and you're going to do that all the way across to the end. And then you're going to do your double crochet right in the middle of that two double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of the row. I'm going to do one double crochet in between those two stitches. I'm going to chain two, turn your work, do your double crochet in the first space, and then you're going to start your V stitches all over again. Okay? Now you're going to do this for five rows. Okay? So you'll have five sets 
of these stitches, okay? And then we're going to change colors. So I will be back when I'm done my five rows and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm finished my five rows and now I'm going to change colors. So you grab your variegated, you attach it however you attach your yarn. Okay. And you flip, cut off your solid color. I like to tie my ends just for a little more security. Oops, let's try that again. chain two, flip your work, and then you start all over again. And then you do another five rows of the variegated. Okay, it's a very um, easy pattern to do that's repetitive. But the, the way it comes out is beautiful. Okay. And you're going to do your five rows of this, and then you're going to change back to your solid. And you're going to keep doing that until you get it to the length that you want it. Okay. Uh, for whatever length you want your <clears throat> your vest and you just keep alternating the colors and uh, when you're finished that I will meet you back here and I will show you what to do next okay I am finished all of my rows of uh, of the back and what I did was I did 11 I think it's 11 sections yeah so it's uh, 11 different sections and it measures I don't even know I don't have a lot of room here to measure oh let's see Hang on, I'll tell you how much it measured. Okay, mine me measures between 30 and 31 inches, so about 30 and a half inches wide, or long, sorry. And it measures hmm, uh, about 23 and a half inches wide. Yours won't be that size unless you want to make it the same size as me. But, uh, yeah. So it doesn't really matter what the, the, what the inches is as long as you know what, how many stitches you've done. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to find out what, like, half, half of your um, piece. Okay, so I'm going to count the V stitches, okay, to find out where the halfway mark is. Okay, so let's see here. I've got... I think I've got 20 V stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I've got 20 V stitches across. So you're going to want to have ha half of whatever yours is for your side panels. Okay, so for instance, mine is 20. 
uh, 20 V stitches across. So technically you're going to want 10 per, but it may or may not work out that way. Okay, because if you, if I had, because I've got uh, 86 chain or 80, yeah, 86 chains in my foundation for my foundation row. So you're going to want half of that, which is 43. So I'll see how many uh, V stitches I can get out of that. But um, yeah, so just do half, do the measurements of half. Okay. And then you're going to start the process over again. Okay. Where you're going to do your foundation chain of however many you're going to have. Right, so my foundation chain is going to be 43. And then I start my double or my uh, double V stitches all over again. Okay, and then I do my five rows, change my color, do five rows, change my color, and just keep going until the length of your sweater. Okay. Okay, so uh, you're going to do that twice so that you've got both your side panels. So if you get confused, just rewind this to the beginning. Figure out what, how many you need, how many stitches you need, and then rewind and watch the process again. Okay, and then I will be back when I'm finished my first side. Okay, so I'm finished my first side. Okay, I did my 43 stitches across and then I ended up with 13 double V's, not 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13 yeah 13 V's which I measured it out and it's actually going to end up being wider than half I don't know how I did that but um but that's okay because it'll end up giving me a bit of a collar so we'll see how it turns out uh okay so hopefully yours came out the right size um but we'll see what we'll see what happens. So do your other side exactly the same way that you did this side. And uh, I'll meet you back and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I've finished both panels for my sides. And then I have, oops, I have my back panel. So now I'm going to put these together. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, when you put your panels together, make sure that you look at the bottom, okay? And make sure that you've got the right panel, or right side um, together, okay? So this is what it looks on the front. This is what it looks like on the back you can definitely tell the difference between the front and the back. That's the front on this one. That's the back on this one. Okay, so you want to make sure that when you put these panels on that you have them the right way. Okay, so here, oops, here's my back panel. You're going to want to make sure that the wrong side is facing you. Not this side. The wrong side. Okay. And then you're going to want to get your panel. And you're going to want to make sure that the right side is facing you. 
okay? And you're going to put those together. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stitch marker in between the V's, the V stitches, on both sides. And just clip them all together. Uh, so, oops. So go ahead and do that for both of your sides. Now you're going to see that when you put these together, there's going to be an overlap <clears throat> of your sides. Okay, that's okay. So I think it's going to be, yeah. Yeah, so just just put them together and uh, just count how many until you get to the overlap. I'm thinking, hmm, let's see. Thinking maybe seven inches, depending on your shoulder like how wide your shoulders are. So maybe seven or eight inches across because this piece is going to fold over eventually when we get this together. Okay? Okay, so we're going to put these together. I'll put my other side on and I'll show you what I've done. Okay. So what I've done here is I've put in, for me, it was eight stitch markers. Uh, once I had both my sides on, I had this left over. Okay, this was the overlap. So I just placed that down. And I put it over my shoulders, okay, to see how much of a collar I was going to want. And this is pretty good. I probably could go one more but I don't think I'm going to. I don't want it to be too tight around my neck. So, um, so that's how I left it. And I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five shells left over. Okay. So, um, yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the sides. And we're going to put the stitch markers along the sides. So you're going to want to figure out how big you want your armhole. Okay, I usually do mine about eight or nine inches. Okay, oops. So. Yeah, eight inches should probably be good enough. Okay, so my eight inches stops right here on this color. So go ahead and figure out your armhole and then start putting your stitch markers along the side and then try it on again and see if that is um, the right size for you. Okay. Now we'll be back when I'm done that. Okay, I'm gonna try the best I can to show you how to do this next part. It's kind of hard because, you know, there's so much going on here. Um, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shoulder piece. Okay, here's the uh, the shoulder piece, and then here's the neck piece. Okay, make sure that this is wrong side out. Okay. And then you're going to, let me bring you in a little bit, okay. Oh, there's the fairy. <laughs> okay, take out your first stitch marker. All right, and then you're going to attach your yarn. 
So find that last stitch here. You're going to attach your yarn onto the shoulder piece. I have, I didn't sew in my ends here, so hopefully it doesn't get in the way. Okay. Hopefully I can explain this good. All right, so what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be going in between these stitches, okay? You're not gonna be going in here in these stitches. You're gonna be going in between, okay? It just makes it easier. Then you don't have to worry about if you've missed the stitch or not, okay? Here, I've got ends. Ignore those. <laughs> okay, so here's your first stitch. You're going to go in this way. Okay, you're going to grab your yarn, pull it through, and do a slip stitch. Okay, now you're going to go on the other side, and you're going to find that same stitch. You're going to go down in that stitch and you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through and slip stitch. Okay, I know that seems like really complicated, but once you get a rhythm going, um, it becomes pretty easy. Okay, so here we go again. Find your next stitch, go down into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, slip stitch. Find the next stitch, okay, go down in between the stitches, grab your yarn, pull it through, slip stitch. Okay. Again, find your, ne your next stitch, go down, grab your yarn, slip stitch. Find the adjacent stitch, go down, grab your yarn, slip stitch. Now, when you get to these big spaces in between your your V stitches same thing go down grab your yarn slip stitch find the adjacent go down grab your yarn slip stitch okay and see it's going to make this zigzaggy Kind of like when you're sewing, you do the zigzag stitch. Okay. Here, I'll show you. I did the other side already. <laughs> so I'll show you. I'll pull you out a little bit. Okay. So there's the inside. You can see the zigzaggy. You flip it over. And there's your seam. Okay. Now it's going to take a little getting used to to do this, but I know you can do it. Okay. So take out your next stitch markers. Okay. Find your next stitch, go in between, grab your yarn, and slip stitch. Find the adjacent stitch, go down, grab your yarn, slip stitch. And just keep going all the way across 
making sure that you don't go past your stitch marker. What you're going to do is you're going to finish this shell though, okay, so that you get to these spaces, okay. So you do your slip stitch here and here, here and here, here and here, and then do your slip stitch into these big stitches and then fasten off and make sure when you fasten it off, you fasten it off really good so that it doesn't come undone because that, that space is going to take the most wear and tear when you're putting on your sweater or your vest. Okay? And I'll meet you, do the other side, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I'm finished doing up my sleeve, or my shoulders. Looks pretty good. That's gonna be really stable when you're wearing it, so that's good. Okay, now, having it inside out again, we're gonna do up the sides. Okay, now you can do up the sides however you want. Um, I'm not going to do that same stitch here as I did here. Because there's... Well, you could. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do your basic... Where's my yarn? Your basic slip stitch kind of a thing. On these sides. So you can either start at the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter. Okay, take your thing out. Now I didn't sew in any of my ends, so I'm gonna sew I'm gonna weave them in as we go. I know that's probably the hardest way to do it, but <laughs> I was a bad girl. Okay. You're going to hear life noises in the back because George came home. So, okay, let me bring you in a little bit. Okay, so just make sure that when you're doing this, you have your lines matched up for your colors. So otherwise it'll be all wonky. You just go in and, oops, go in and do your slip stitch or however you're planning on doing it. Okay. And the, it's just the important part is just to make sure that your edges are the same when you're doing this. Don't do this too tightly because otherwise it's going to bunch up. Okay. So there we go. I'll cut these other ends off when I'm done. Okay, so just make sure that your, your edging for each color is the same when you're done. Okay. Okay. So do that all the way down and then do your other side and I will see you when you get back. Okay. So I've done up all both of my edges uh, for the sides. Now, oops, now I decided that I am going to do a little bit of a sleeve. Just a little bit. Uh, and so I'm going to attach the yarn. Okay, you're going to go down where the armpit would be. I'm going to attach your yarn. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, you're going to chain up one. You're going to push that over a little bit. Okay, you're going to do a double crochet 
right back in that same space. Chain one and then do two double crochet in that chain space again. Okay, so you've done your double V stitch in that first space. Okay, then you're going to find your next big space. You're going to do another double V stitch. So double crochet. Another double crochet in the same space, chain one, <coughs> double crochet in the same space, and another double crochet in the same space. Okay, so now you've got your two. You're going to go to the next big space and you're going to do the same thing. Go to your next big space and you're going to do this all the way around until you get to this side and then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain or the third, um, yeah, third chain right here. Okay, and then you're going to continue to go in the spaces in between your V, oh, sorry, no you're not. You're going to go in between your V stitches and do your double V stitches, okay, just like you did for the rest of it. And you're going to go around and round until you get your arm to the length that you want. And you're going to do that on both sides. And I will meet you back when you're done. Okay, I'm finished my arms, my sleeves. <clears throat> I did... <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Lost my voice there. I did five rows of the double V stitch. Okay. Okay, now you're going to move on to the collar. Okay. Now this is going to be... Oops. All tangled up here. This is going to basically this part here that's around your your neck is pretty much already finished. It's a scalloped edge. Okay, so all you have to do again, I didn't do my tails, bad girl. So all you're going to do from the top of right here all the way down is going to be just single crochets, okay, all the way down. And you're going to do that on the other side. And that will finish off your edging for your vest. Okay. All right, so we're gonna add, go to the corner here. Gonna add our yarn. I'm just going to weave in my ends, or work in my ends. Okay, you're just going to go into any hole here and just do a single crochet. Easy peasy. That will just finish up that edging. Okay, don't do it really tight, just do it nice and loose. 
on these um, <clears throat> these bigger holes, you might have to do two in the same space. Okay, just easy peasy. Just do it really like loosely because otherwise your stitches will bunch up and it won't lay nice. Okay, so you're going to continue this all the way to the end and then do the other side. And then guess what guys? Your vest will be done. Yay! <laughs> now if you want to, actually no you don't need to, never mind. <laughs> okay, all right. So I will meet you back when I am finished doing this. Okay? Okay, everybody. We are finished. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now the last thing we, that we can do, if you want to, is you can either, when you fold this over, you can either tack it down or you can get a couple of brooches and you can put a brooch on the corners. So there I have a dragonfly for that side and then for this side I have a bumblebee. Of course I have a bumblebee. It's me. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll put that bumblebee right on there. Would help if I had my glasses on to do this. There we go. There. There. Seeing that it's a garden vest. There you go. And we are done. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I did. And don't forget, if you make this, post in my Facebook group. Show me how what you did with yours and the colors that you did and uh, tell me what you think. Okay, uh, I will talk to you guys later and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.